Hey guys! That was me trying to do a TikTok video because I saw this one girl doing this cool ass transition and she looks amazing! So I just want to try it and my neck been hurting and like it's giving me like a headache. So we're just gonna chit chat about life, watch me do makeup. Let's get into it! If you guys don't know, I used to do makeup like I was like obsessed. So yeah, I used to do makeup a lot. I was getting really like crazy about it. And I saw my future like doing makeup for people, become a makeup artist. And the coronavirus hit. Ever since coronavirus hit, like I didn't really feel like doing makeup for people. It's like, where are you really gonna go, you know? And now it's like, girl, I gotta get my makeup done, hair done, lashes done, nails done. Everything to go out and about. That's the backstory of me. Oh my god, let me get started, girl. I'll be talking too much. My whole makeup um, drawer thing, um, I clean everything out because, girl, that was collecting dust. I got this at Walmart when I found out that other places have like um, a makeup bin that covers it. I was like, oh my god, wow, but it's whatever. I mean, this doesn't even fit majority of my brushes, so it's kind of bad. But like, look how many dust it collected. That is so gross. So you better cover your brushes and clean your brushes. Even like those makeup drawers, clean it. Dust can still go inside. But anyways, I'm still working at my current job. I really like what I do. It's just like an everyday typical job. You know, nothing really new, you know, same old, same old. People are still rude and nasty to you. There's always that, like, same weirdo, like, creep or whatever. And, like, what can you do about it? Like, yeah, you can tell them to stop, like, fucking weirdo. What else? Uh, I'm a temporary dropout college student. So let me tell you, like, what really happened, like, traumatically. So, I live right next door to a gym. And I was like, you know, I feel like walking today. I do see like people working, whatever, doing whatever in their house, like out and about, and me minding my own business, walking to the gym. And then I was like, all right, so working out, working out, and it felt great. So now it's time to go home. Now that's when everything like, went downhill. So I'm walking home and I reached to my neighborhood and uh, mind you, I already seen these people already like these um, construction workers or whatever because the owners there are renovating the house, doing something about it. I don't care. And I see this guy, like he's obviously in his uniform and he sees me and I was like, ew, stop looking at me. And then I continue to walk home and as soon as I reach home, I see a car pull up in front of my face. So he goes, do you know what city we're on? I'm like, the fuck? And I walk backwards, backwards. I'm not trying to like turn around and walk because you never know your surroundings. So you don't know if who's around. You don't know what he has on him. Like you just don't know. So then I'm like, what the hell? Cause he was literally over in that house working. The owners are home. There are multiple peoples at home. And mind you, like, if you're working as like any type of service where you have to commute or travel or whatever, you need the address. No, he knows the address. And then I'm like, in my head, I'm like, oh my god, this guy's probably trying to kidnap me. Or maybe he's trying to talk to me and then kidnap me. So as a woman, everything was like going around my head. Thank god my brother was home. He saw everything. I ran inside. I locked all the doors. I turned on the alarm and I looked for the cameras. And I see him pulling up to my driveway and then pulling out and going back to the house to work. I'm like, dude, what the fuck? Or what if like the other co-workers that were there saw me too and then asked them to go up to talk to me and then the man will kidnap me. Exactly, you just never know. And I used to have this like neighborhood app, I know. What a Karen, so gross. 
but it's good to know the white people doing your neighborhood. So I went on the app, post, um, told everything what happened, and then here goes all the negativity comments. Like, I don't know what's wrong with these old people. Like, they're so rude and so negative. Like. Oh my god. Basically 50 50. So 50 people were rude and call me liars, and 50 people were like supporting me and helping me through it. Like, and I just felt like a little depressed. I'm like, oh my god, these people are so rude. They have no life. Like, where are their grandkids? And after that, you know, everything is chilling, calm. Um, I'm not walking to the gym anymore. I'm not walking, period. And then people were like, oh, you should tell the cops so they can keep it documented, blah, 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 snap. I was like, maybe you're right, but then I'm like, it's a waste of my time. Um, I left a note to the neighbors, and ever since then, I haven't seen them. They didn't even try contacting me, but okay. And then after that, um, I went to Orlando. Girl. I'm 20 years old and I still had to ask permission to my mother like it took me like basically a whole month just to convince her for like letting me go you know how embarrassing that is very fucking embarrassing I do have a YouTube video on that it's on my recent videos and then my cousin is coming over just to visit and then I'm gonna have a video coming out soon on that because we're gonna go somewhere very exciting around here so I'm gonna show you guys mind you, I'm gonna give you guys a little hint very expensive ridiculously expensive like what the heck okay, back with my brows finished this week, okay so before I continue this story girl um, on TikTok, yes, I'm on TikTok now. Oh my god. I saw this video about like, like repeat after this affirmation. I decided to repeat because I'm like, oh my god, this is so fake. Like, this is not real. Like, how is this even real, you know? And I decided to say it twice that one day. And I came into work talking to my coworkers. Um, mind you, I was like kind of arguing with my coworkers in this gym member about like this topic. So then I was like, you know what, I'm gonna drop this conversation. And I decided to leave because my other friend, he came in to the store and then me and him were just talking. And I decided to go back to the gym member and my coworker. And mind you, I see them like on the other side of the corner, like all of a sudden they moved and they're like whispering. And then the guy goes like, oh, don't say, don't say anything. And then my um, coworker, he was like, oh he got a little crush on you and i was like excuse me that is so gross he ha he has a girl whatever and i have a boyfriend of four years you know and he knows that everyone knows that and he was like i'm gonna go get you foot and if you guys don't know what foot is foot is a vietnamese noodles and i was like don't do that because i run my own food and Oh, and one more thing, I am trying my best to eat healthy, so I'm gonna go get a cookbook on like meal prepping, eating healthy, because I do want to gain weight, but also I want to eat good. But last night I failed because last night I like stayed up till 4 in the morning, and I got hungry, and then I went out to the kitchen and ate me ramen noodle and hot Cheeto chips. Like, so anyways, back to the topic, don't do it because... Like, I already got my own food, I don't need your food, no one's gonna eat it, I'm gonna most likely throw it away. He was like, no, I'm gonna go get it, I'm like, don't do it, and I was like, whatever, have a good night. So, me thinking, like, he's going home. So, I'm with my dog, doing my thing, you know, counting up the register, you know, doing my job. So, if my manager sees this, yes, I'd be doing my job. Counting the register, and then out of nowhere, like, I hear the door open. It's him, again. I was like, oh, what are you doing here? Oh, what is that? And he was like, it's for you. I was like, why? That is so gross. Why? Why are you doing this? And he was like, wait, and I also have one more thing for you. He pulls up with flowers. What? And mind you, I don't even be talking to this kid like that. I really don't. Whenever I see him, I just be I just be like, hi, how are you? And move on about my day. Like, 
we don't go beyond that but he went beyond that like if he felt some type of way from me saying those words that i feel so sorry for you at this point i'm like yelling and i'm like what the fuck like why are you doing this like why like don't you have a girl and he was like yeah that can be nice and i was like if my boyfriend ever does this to a girl gives her food flowers and a drink best believe i'm going to jail he just left about that and i'm like what the heck so i'm gonna kill the video bro this dude random guy gave me flowers fucking bubble tea pho vietnamese noodles and motherfucking spring rolls what the me fuck? not thinking about the affirmation i said like twice i just have to go home and say it again because all i want is money so i said it again yesterday twice so when I came into work, I see him. After I clock in, you gotta go around the floor to make sure everything's clean. I see him. And um, mind you, I told my manager about what happened. One of my managers said, like, did you at least say thank you? I was like, I think so. So I decided to be nice and say thank you, right? And I was like, thanks for the food, but you really did not have to do that at all. So, okay. See you later. And I left, right? And then... I'm big chilling at work, right? And then around 8 o'clock, he comes in again with ramen love. I'm like, and now I'm like bad, big mad. And I told him like, can you stop? Like this better be your last day and you shouldn't be doing this at all. You have a girl, I have a boyfriend. So I'm like, why, why, what's the reason? And he was like, I have a reason. I'm like, okay, then say it. And then he was like, I don't like to say it out here in public. Right when he said that, I just knew he had feelings towards me. And I all I want to do is throw up, throw up. Like I sound over exaggerating, but I really mean it. That is so disgusting. And I'm like, you're literally wasting good money on like food that a person will not eat and I'll kill the, the video this man did it again ramen lab motherfucking roses this, this anyways so yeah and now me believing is the affirmation because mind you me and my other coworker, we said the affirmation when she said it a guy likes her and she does not like him out and the, this guy kept on like flirting with her in a way and mind you he knows that she has a boyfriend and he kept on flirting her, blah, 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 this and that. But anyways, she stopped saying the affirmation and the guy ended up having a girlfriend. Okay, looking cute so far. Like right when he left, I texted my managers ASAP. And then they were like, does he make you uncomfortable whenever you see him in the gym? I said, no, I don't feel uncomfortable any type of way because he is no threat to me. I'm not used to like people giving me stuff just to give, you know? I'm not used to that. And plus like, for a guy to give me food and flowers, that's a little too much now, you know? My other manager, he was like, oh, give me his information, I'll give him a call tomorrow. And then I'm like, oh my God, that would be so embarrassing. But if you wanna prevent it, then you gotta do something about it. I don't know if they called him today or something, but he better stop so let's get into it because i'm not good at doing my eyeliner at all focus on my face focus on my face oh and then at the same time what if it's not the affirmation because the first time he did it mind you my co-worker that was talking to him that said like oh he got a little crush on you he's a slut yep i said it he's a slut but so much respect for him, but he's a slut. So I also blame it, it was on him. And after blaming it on him, he was like, dude, I probably said something, but like, I didn't know he was gonna like do something like that. I'm like, next thing that also happened. So it was like yesterday, yesterday morning, I was on the phone, on the IRS, because like, where's my tax refund, you know? So then the call was just taking forever. Mind you, as I'm calling, um, I see that my phone is blowing up like with messages. After I hung up, I forgot. And I went on TikTok, you know, the huge. And I was like, oh, it's not like someone texted me. Let me go check. It's my coworker. He's like, oh my God, Jenny, I'm stuck at Checkers because the car died. 
Mind you, the whole time, I know this sounds so bad, but like the whole time, I was laughing, dying, because girl, I do not take this girl seriously. Sometimes, like, there be times that I actually do take her seriously and she takes me seriously, but like, we take each other as jokes. Mind you, I do not know how to jump start a car at all. She doesn't either. So then I decided to like look up like how to jump start a car. I was like, you want me to come over there to like for more support? She was like, I hate you so much. I was literally gonna go over there for more support. But then I realized I'm going over there driving in my car that works perfectly fine. So I was like, you know what? Okay, so let me try to help her jump out of the car. Like open the hood there, like inside your car there's like a latch or whatever, you pull that. Me thinking you pull that and it's already up. No, like once it's like unlocked, like, you know, you have to unlock it again from the outside. Oh my God, me and her, we're literally like lifting up the hood. We're out here for like, it feels like an hour. She called her mom like, where's the negative? I called my dad like, where's the positive or negative in my car? Um, I figured it out. She, we kind of figured out where the negative was, but it turns out that wasn't the negative. So thank God we didn't put it there. This guy pulls up and he was like, do you guys need any help? I was like, oh my God, yes, please. He helped us under like five minutes. She went home, traumatized. And mind you, the checkers parking lot, it's only like, okay, so this is checkers and there's only one like drive. You know, it's just a drive through one way. And we parked right over here where our cars are going down like outside. So then she backs up and then faces towards the people that it's like leaving. I'm like, Oh god, I was just looking at her and shocked and then she stopped because she realized because she saw the air on the floor And then she realized and then she parked back in the parking lot reverse and then went out the other way. I'm like I'm still doing press on nails. So if you guys are interested or know someone who are interested in press on nails I'll you know and then leave my the link down below. All right, so let me just do my whole face and get back at you guys. All right, the lips. What's going on, Jenny? Um, I want to try something new because I've been seeing this going around time time, and I was like, let me try it out. So it's like, and then draw smile. All right, so what do you guys think? I don't know about the lips, so. It just makes me feel... Two little away. So let me get my brother a reaction. I'm in class. So what do you think? You give me very much um, nightmare before Christmas vibes. Right, well then, um, we'll finish this up on Tuesday next week. And I look forward All right, I just finished up my TikTok video. Oh my God, that took forever because I tried to match the transition. It still didn't match, but... Whatever, so this is the final look. Let me get a close up on the eyes. So, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification for more videos every week. See you guys next time.